What's up, everyone? Welcome back for more Dark Souls 2. Hello, Bob. I agree, a cloud made out of Adobe seems like it would just fall out of the sky and break an Adobe cloud. I see what you did there. So, uh, we are in the Shaded Ruins. Got through the Iron Keep last time and Belfry Soul. And now we're on to our next great old one to find. We're probably not going to get all the way there tonight, because there are three bosses between us and them. But we might get all three of those bosses beaten, and that would make me very happy. Also, Arthur is here. Come here, baby boy. Come on up. Let me say hi to the stream. Boom. He wants to be on the shoulder. There you go, buddy. Okay, now listen. I know. You can't stay up here the whole time. Because we have to fight some people. And that's hard to do with a cat on your shoulder. You don't care. I know. He doesn't care. Hi, Buster. There you go. This will this will work. This is doable. All right, let me go ahead and I meant to do this again last time. So we've been getting some uh, not frame drops, thankfully, but some some interesting visual lag uh, the last couple of times that seems to clear up as we get further into the stream. So I'm just going to assume that it's probably gonna clear up again because it has so far. Let's go uh, take out Man Scorpion Tarx X, I think. Uh, let's see, we do that. We're going to do one of these. One of these, and one of. Come on, let me get that ear. Yeah! Alright. Alright, I kept that. Let's see that. Why do I have. That's the wrong shield. Nope, ran out of stamina. Alright, well, come on then. Ah! Listen, that was a nice roll. Okay. Whoop, let's get away from you. We already went and saw Dark Devil Grendel. Let's head up here first. Sorry for the awkward camera. These rotating stairs are always awkward. Hey, Annie! Now back to your regularly scheduled Andy. It's true. Hi, bud! <laughs> Just wait. You dirty rat. Hang on. Oh, I remember you. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. It's Creighton! That bastard with a ring lives in Brightstone Coves down the way. I'm gonna find him and settle the school. Nobody insults me like that. For the good of the world and for my own honor. No, For Honor is a different game. to live another day. <laughs> is that it? For the good yeah, okay. Of Alright, so now we've talked to, to Pate and to Creighton, which is enough. Let me sneak around this way. Yep. Uh, I hope to have triggered their event later on. I think. We'll find out. And if I'm wrong, we can go back and do it. Hey, Bad Road. Unless it hangs in the sky much the same way that bricks don't. And that you brought up how Creighton might not, might genuinely not know his real name. We've been looking around stuff to find out if he might have actually been. This is not the phantom I expected. What up, Brad? We hung out in uh, No Man's Wharf, was it? You fell in the water that one time? 
who he might have actually been. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's interesting too. So I said last time there's a crest on the front of Creighton's armor, like his his tabard or whatever, that matches the crest on Benhart's tabard. But I was digging into a little bit more, and we don't have a way of knowing this yet. But uh, if we get Benhart's armor later on, Benhart found his armor, so it's not like his family crest or like uh, the crest of a knight of Jugo. It's just he found some armor and put it on the same way that we did. Hey, bud, your phantom is huge. Um, that's well done. Um, so, like, who the hell knows where that tavern is from? <laughs> All right, now let me move. Okay. Get up on her so that she comes out of the sand. There she is. Crap. Let's get away from those. And let our friends. So, the good news is, uh,. She and Tark have a history, which makes it not too much of a question of aggro when he's in the room. Although Brad also apparently has some history. Well done, Brad. Proud of you. But, crap. Uh, but the three of us, this should be something of a cakewalk. Which I'm okay with, because as I mentioned, we've got, uh, like, three bosses I'm trying to beat tonight. That was lucky. Crap. There she goes. Run to solid ground. And drink. Where is she at? Where is she at? Wait for her. There she is. Woo. It's lucky. Before the stamina, and we got it. Hey, well done, everybody. Proud of us. Tark, I uh, imagine that'll probably weigh heavy on you, what we just did, but, uh, you know, take what time you need. Oh, I forgot to break the tree. Shoot. Oh, let me catch up on chat while we're here and we're safe. For those who are usually down with what I get, I seem to be having a thunder. Yeah, I saw some, some storms on the horizon. Thank you, Badroid. Tabard has to be from Mira. That's a good point, right? Because Creighton thinks he's from Mira, so... And if, if Pate gave him the armor and the assumed identity, then, like, maybe, yeah, maybe that is from, uh, what do you call it? Uh, from Mira. That would be interesting. Came from fake Creighton's armor, which he stole from paid real Creighton la slash lap slash patches. Yay. A, let me see if I can pronounce this right. Gertablu? Gertablu? Gertablu. Gertablu. Multipass. Uh, keep reading that name. Is it Misconception Turk? No, that is a misconception. Uh, so there's this item up here, and I can't remember what it is, but I think the only way to get it is to lure her over here and have her smash the tree. So that's gone forever. I guess we could use a bonfire ascetic, but not right now. Now it is time to go into the doors. But not bad. One boss in ten minutes. If we keep up that pace, <laughs> we'll be done by lunch. We will not keep up that pace. I guess I could go back to Targ. No, we'll wait to go back to Targ. Well, eh, no, we'll get the next bonfire. Then we'll go back to Targ. He has some more dialogue for us now that uh, now that she is gone. Which makes me a little sad, but it's fine. Uh, are there rats in here, or just... I think it's just the Mastodon. Hey everyone, welcome to social media. Oh, that feels so much better. Love that we can kill you in four hits. Ooh, great shield. Is that the one I think it is? No, that's an actual real shield. It's huge, and we're not going to use it, but like... Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. The Gurm great shield is just... This is just a rock. This is just a rock. Why do I... Oh, I know I have this. We were doing ketchup. Let's fix that. There, I've done it.
I have no idea how it's pronounced. I've only ever seen it written down. That's true of so many words for me. Deep, deep, deep. Bonfire. If Benhard has the crest of Mira, Jugo was waging war against Mira, so I'd like he picked it up from a battlefield. That makes sense. That makes absolute sense. Back to the ruins. You all settled now, Arthur. He's practically leaning his, like, chin on my wrist as I hold the controller, which seems like it's going to go badly for him eventually, but at the moment he's enjoying it. Crap. That will do. I guess it's risky doing this with 27th K around, but there aren't a lot of places around here that we can die that we won't be able to come back from, so I'm not too worried about it. Aw, oh, forlorn, really? What a piece of crap. Alright, let's wait for it. Come on. Drink. You're a piece of shit. Really bad place to fight. Okay, back up the stairs. And run out so we're not getting cursed. Hey, buddy. Arthur, that was not the time! I'll climb over the keyboard. Oh, no! He faked me out! I thought he was going to roll and slash. He rolled, stood up, then slashed. Oh, no. God, I hate the Forlorn so goddamn much. Like, oh. Uh, which is a shame, because I want to kill a bunch of them for, like, the armor set that I can unlock. But they're just so annoying, and it's it's never a satisfying fight. It's always an exhausting fight. If the NPCs in the environment, like, also fucked them up, I wouldn't be as bothered by it. But the fact that it's... They always come in at the worst times. You. Go away. You. Come back. It's over, Forlorn. Andy has the high ground. I wish that had been true. I did have a cat, uh, just crawl right over top of my entire keyboard in the middle of the fight, which probably didn't help, but I'm not going to pretend like we had that. Let's go up here. Over here. Crap. Alright, fine. How about, fuck you. Tired of fighting where I can't swing. There. You there. Stop it. Dark! Boy, the, the, what I went through to get back to you, let me, let me tell you. Whispers. I have defeated my better half. This is my thanks. Take it. <gasps> it's the thing we needed. I have no gods to pray to, but still I pray that your journey will be safe. Oh, thank you. I love that these invisible mans just look like neutral la neutral layer phantoms. So if you're playing online, it's a great mind fuck, especially the first time you see one. Oh no. I do I actually really like Penutra Lair. So you says the low ground is what you want? That is a hundred percent correct. I have no gods, but still Thanks, bud. I have oh, I, Yeah, I got in a loop, that's on me. Alright, we'll come back and see you once we deal with the next great old one, which again probably won't be this stream. And that's okay. But we have a branch 
And because of the internet, I know exactly who I want to use it on. Go away. I like having friendly scorpion people. Me too! I also, I, uh, just on a, on a, a, you know, deeply personal note, uh, Man Scorpion Tark's, like, voice, lovely. Just lovely stuff. Uh, what's the best way to get to this thing? What is the best way to get to this thing? These are the questions. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. That didn't wake you up. This will wake you up. Yep. I can't get there from there. I... Hang on. Can I go over this? No. Can I jump over this? Uh, hiya! Perfect. Oh, a Cyan Knight. You guys remember Cyan, Final Fantasy VI? I love how much damage I can do to y'all. Good night. This is not what we actually came here for, but uh, while we're here... Excellent. Drink. All right. Bow. Back to the bridge. Uh, oh, please. Okay. Afraid I'd gone too far right on that. Now he can be like Elaine and Owen. Oh no. Board that phantom train. Okay. And we're good. Go ahead and just take this out while I'm here. All right. And then. Random friend. You have something I need. Or a, a different, less random friend. No escape. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Ow. Back it up. Banky. Gulp. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure I can't really go anywhere. Oh, I can go up the bridge. All right. Let's do that. We're going to take him to the bridge. I just came from the other area, so let's do this. Boop. <laughs> Fangs with a key. Very nice. <laughs> Fangy kindly. I love that you both got there. All roads lead to the same joke, and I appreciate that. All right. Uh, we could go down the bad way. I'm not going to go down the bad way. That woke you up, didn't it? Sure did. Come on, bud. Goodbye. Yeah. Hey! Hey, Grand Owl, it's me again. Hey, look, it's tonight's stream image. Right in the goiter. Get around all of this. Sometimes, lock on, it's not your friend. Look who it is! Everyone say hi to Ornifex. Uh, listen, congratulations on your nuptials to Sue. Thank you for helping me. I am Ornifex. 
I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? Gladly. Thank you, kind traveler. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Okay. And then also... Ooh, another branch! Sweet! We're, uh, we're even on branches for the night. I spent the entire off-stream looking for one fragrant branch of yore, couldn't find any. And now we've found two in 20 minutes. <laughs> I like how she warbles in her throat as she talks. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's take just a spell. What does Nachka's soul get us? Spider's Fang and Spider's Silk, I think? Oh, hang on, I missed a chat. Uh, so he says he doesn't know who... He oh, this is talking about Tark. So he says he doesn't know who his master was, but when you kill the Duke's dear Freya, he rewards you with the second dragon ring. That implies that he, like the spider, was built by the Duke? That's kind of my guess. Um, I, I, there's some... Maybe it's actually in the description here. Let me take a look. Um, there's something that I remember, I remember reading that implied that the Lion Warriors, the, uh, the Scorpion people... Uh, all of it were part of the Duke's experiments. Um, along with the things in Brightstone Cove that were a problem. Nachka was born of the misdeeds of an ancient being, a frail soul from the beginning, that soon succumbed to madness. That sounds like someone we know from Dark Souls 1. And this. Ooh! Tiny little 5k. Burn the bone dust. So that our Estus flask heals us for more. Some force has strengthened the flask. And up. Hello. Bearer of the curse. That's me. Seek souls. Seek the less. All right. Da, 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 da. One in adaptability to finish that out. I roll for vitality because I want to be able to wear my entire armor set. What does that do? What's that done to the graph? Uh, okay, so that helps us with this. Good, good. Is that enough that we can wear these yet? No, almost. Getting there. Piece at a time. All right. Uh, actually, before we do that, stand up. What are we doing on... Oh, we have so many bolts. Never mind. And away to the doors of Ferris. Hey, box! I've been pouting at plant tech for the past half an hour. Oh no, I'm sorry. I hope all is well. The beginning being when the hollow curse started when the humans committed genocide against the dragons. Yeah. 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 So we're not currently doing um, an int run, but if we were, I would probably go for the, uh, the bonfire seed. We almost got trunked. Ah. Uh, the bon whoop. bonfire acetic on the. Hang on one second. On the Duke's Dear Freya. For the uh, Blue Moon Greatsword. Wow, we can two shot Gurms. We're doing great. Anyway, um, I'd probably go for that uh, purely because the. Uh, well, A, because it's a Blue Moon Greatsword, but also because I, I want to. I want to read the description on that soul. I haven't looked it up yet. I probably will if we don't get it through here. Uh, somewhere in here. Is it here? I thought there was a door. There's not a door. It must be somewhere else. Is there a door in here? There is a door in here. Aha. I'm someone with an anvil on a stick instead of an anvil on a chain. Oh, it's Batania, not Plants Plants. Got it. Okay. Okay. Let's get up to the... Yep. Crap. Oh, that's... This is bad. This is not great. Not a good time for an invasion. Ah, come on. Yeah, we're dead. I was not prepared for the rat, the slowdown from the water, the mastodon soldier, and a ranged phantom. 
<sighs> okay, fine. I tell you what. Wait, nope, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Have some of this. One of these, do one of these. Harassing prayer again. Uh, and actually on that, nah, no, we'll leave it this way. Alright, now then. <clears throat> there is that freaking rat. Oh, come on. Oh, what is this hooey? Come here. Listen, if I have to nickel and dime you, I will. Not getting toxic killed again. Amy? There. Right in the line cloth. Now, wrecked. Camera, please. There you are. Come along, then, get three. This is the one with the double repeating crossbows, by the way, from uh, Free Soul, I think. What am I? What am I bumping into behind? Me? Oh, oh, because I'm invaded. You, bane of my existence. Sorry, toxic of my existence. Different poison effect. Well, okay. I'll do it this way. <laughs> this room does not like me. I don't like it either. The Gurm discovered anvil when most people discovered fire. That actually seems correct. They went at blacksmithing the other way. <laughs> right, let's go this way. Ooh, Mastodon Halberd. That could actually be useful. Uh, let's see. Make sure I don't get jumped by another rat. Don't see one. I don't think I see one. I vaguely remember there being two in here. And it's tripping me up a little bit. But it's probably fine. Uh, okay. Come back for that off stream. Go this way. I'll just lure out. Just clear this corner. Yeah, looks fine. Okay. Rock candy. Okay. Have some of these. Ooh, excellent. Aha! There we go. That must be the rats I was thinking of. Ladder time. Up we go. This is one of the invasions that doesn't happen if you're online. Interesting. I think I mentioned it before. I've, I've yet to actually play the game in online mode because the servers have, uh, you know, been borked since I started. Uh, but I'm honestly, I'm curious to try it. I'm mostly interested in, uh, in co-op. Oh, good. We have, we have the great shield that is just a rock now.
Nice follow up. Uh, somewhere around here. Up there? Maybe up there. Ooh. Hey, spikes. Uh, hey, bud. You gonna. Ooh, don't break the chest. Although it is a trapped chest. Well, let's see what kind of trap it is. Oop. Ooh. Very nice. PvP is much better than the other game, so it's still hilariously unbalanced. That might be a chance to use our wild double whip build. <laughs> and anything over here? There is! Pharos Lockstone here in the doors of Pharos. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Let me go this way. Go this way. Ooh! We chose the right path. By which I mean we chose the left path, but it, it's the correct path, is what I'm getting at. Alright. Uh, how do we want to do this? Grab this. Grab, probably better grab this. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll do our old dragon tooth setup. There we are. Uh, we have a lightning spear. I don't remember if this one does... Uh, it probably does poison build up. So we're going to go fight a rat, is what's happening. Uh, I do have this Chaos Storm, and the things we're up against are weak to fire. Left is always right. Very nice. I could try this. It might be a terrible idea. Plus, we'd have to, to bring two things. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. No, 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 no. Stick with what's working. And this is what's working. All right. Double-handed. PvP is kind of a sticking point for wannabe fans. They'll tell you the PvP is essential to Dark Souls experience right up until you mention DS2s is much better, and then the PvP suddenly doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. And now, time for Rat. We're dead. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so the moveset on the axe I should have practiced with before we went in. <laughs> Luckily, we're right outside the door, so it's not a long walk. Maybe I will bring the pyromancy. Because I don't know that, well, I mean, having caressing prayer would be nice in case we get toxic, is the thing. But... How many spell slots does this take? Let's find out. Just one, huh? And we could use combustion. Now, let's do some practice this time before we dive into stuff. First of all... Wow, that's actually very slow. That might be a terrible idea. Uh... Alright, that's just a one-shot. Hey, Sue! Little rest drop lock stones. It's not a bad idea. Mount Halberd. You have this lovely great sword. Oh, it's this move set. I remember this move set. Still not super useful against rats on the ground, is the thing. Uh could just stick with what we have. Oh, we have the, the Black Knight Halberd, actually. Nope, 26 decks. Damn. Well. Well, well, well. Well, hell. I'm, I'm trying to make decisions here, and they're all coming up bad. Alright, so Chaos Storm I know. I passed this. Which is pretty quick, but it's just... It's not a shotgun. It's just right in front of us, direct. It could be a solution for the tiny rats right out of the gate. Having some thoughts here. So uh, let's do this again. Go back to our old setup. Actually, yeah? No. Poison build up. Uh, let's go back to our old setup here. Get that there. And there. 
just in case. Of those, and yeah. It's probably going to be way too high, is the thing. Stab could work on one. What I need is something that does a low sweeping strike, and I don't know if I have any weapons that do that. Uh -huh. I'm just going to do some a little bit of playtesting. No, it's going to be way too high. Okay. How about you? Oh, wait, no, I can't see you anyway. Uh, we do... We could just always go back to old reliable. You know, sometimes the best solution, the one you started with. Yeah, let's try it. What have we got to lose? Yeah, there's two of them down. Whoop! Ah! Thought I dodged in time, and I was wrong. Whoa! What was that miss? Alright, fine. Oh, hmm. We're dead. Yeah, I'm sitting going. I know I'm. I know I'm losing track of too many things at once. I've actually never died in this fight before, so this is really fucking me up. I must be overthinking it, I guess, or just having a having a weird night. I'm not sure. But every time I've every other time I've done this fight, it has been just a one and done, no sweat. And now it's just whooping my tail, and I don't know why. So here's what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna run up to about here. And we're gonna throw fire. That worked great. Oh, well. Oh, God. Okay. Drink, please. Hmm. It's basically just Sif. Okay. Lucky. Oh, early. No. Hmm. Okay. Wait for it. No. Hmm. Okay. This is becoming a problem. What the fuck, Andy? What's going on, bud? What are you doing? You alright in there? Alright, let's just have one of these and just take a breath and just our posture, rethink our life decisions, and cast Chaos Storm again. Oop, let's go get some health back. One of those. Beautiful. Change my mind. Let's stay nimble. Let's switch this out entirely. Uh, we'll keep... Yeah, because if I need this, I'm going to need to be defensive. Alright. New approach. <laughs> Not here, and then... Nope. Target. The big one in the room, please. Thank you. Come on. Getting input issues? Is that what I'm seeing here? No? No, that's working fine. That second roll isn't going off when I think it is. Okay. Hmm. 
Nein. It's got me flinching now. Drink. Okay. Crap. Fuck you. Hitboxes for the attacks are not only big, but they appear before the attack actually goes off. Yeah. I'm sensing that. I don't know how I've never struggled with this before. It's breaking my brain right now. So this is an optional boss. We can totally skip it. It's only my own rule that's keeping us here. But this is attempt number five, I think? And we're, we're coming up on attempt never again, so... That was easy. It's that, uh, it's that left paw. I think I need to start dashing around to the authority's left side. So away from the right sweep towards the left sweep. This is a guess. The, the problem with having never struggled on a boss before is that I've never really learned this boss. Oh, that was easy. I don't know why I went for that, to be honest with you. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck you. You. Okay. Nope. Nope. I knew it. I knew it the second I rolled. What the hell? We're in like first fight pursuer territory. I have the yips. I hate having the yips. All right. Well. I have another one of these. So this is attempt... That was seven, I think? This is eight. We're gonna go to ten. And if we don't get it by ten, we're just gonna come back and try it another day. Move, 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 move. That was eight. At least these are going quick. It's not a frustratingly long fight. It's not dying to Vendrick in the last, like, 10% of health. Which, let me tell you, is agony. It's just, it's so frustrating to... To never have struggled on a boss and then suddenly just run into a wall. Especially when it doesn't feel like it's the build that's the problem. Like, we have the tools... It's just like, wh where was this horse shit the last five times I fought you? Crap. Yep. 
the the dodging away thing also sucks. I remember hating that in uh, in Tunic as well for the same reason. Where is your hitbox? More importantly, where is your hurtbox? Okay, at least I hit you too. Nope, stuck on the boss. Bad. Okay. I hate that I can't target the legs the way that I can with, like, the last giant. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> camera? This thing does not need allies, camera. <laughs> makes any damn sense is the other problem too. Okay. Getting there, getting there. Uh alright. Fine. Please use another attack. Oh, man. That was nine. It's not Sekiro's entire, fi entire final boss. That's true. Wow, what the hell? I've just gotten extremely lucky all three times I've, I've fought this thing before. I've now lost to it twice as many times as I've ever fought it. <laughs> well, as ever beaten it, I should say. Yuck. It sucks. All right, let's... Take a moment to reconsider our life choices. All right, what if I arranged strategy? Because nothing else is fucking working. I could try just straight up blocking more, but I'm pretty sure it would a destroy my stamina completely, and then just leave me up for crappy uh, follow-up hits, which I do not want to endure. Sometimes you just gotta take the hit. There. Oh, damn. That would've been cool, though. Hmm, alright. Questionable. 
we're dead. <sighs> okay, never mind. Damn, y'all, I was like, hey, this will be easy. We'll we'll mow through the first two bosses and onto the third, and it'll be uh, nice and fun. And instead, it's miserable. All right, well, fuck this and everything about it. Let's go back to our old ways. And we'll come back later when I feel like fucking with this bullshit. Where was the other bonfire? Respect. I'm just, I, I think I definitely, for one, went into this, um, very overconfident, which is probably clear, I guess, uh, but that to, to be rediscovering this fight, like it's a whole other animal, pardon the pun, <laughs> is, uh, is just like, I, I don't even know, I don't even know what's happening, I don't know why it's happening, I hate that it's happening. And I want it to stop happening. But luckily it's an optional boss, so we don't have to actually let it happen to us anymore tonight. I can go back to enemies that have a reliable interaction. Fair. Oh, we've got, like, half the germ set now. <laughs> All right. Hey, bud, come on over here. I don't want to break the chest. Ooh, nice. Thank you. I don't think this is a trap chest. It's not! Nice. Dragon charm. Am I remembering? Ah, <gasps> Gavlan! I am remembering right. Make deal with Gavlan. So, uh, because Gavlan is a germ, if I'm not mistaken, this is Gavlan's perma home. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many souls. <laughs> and luckily, he's right near uh, a bonfire, so if we ever need to sell stuff, we could just come here. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> and also, if we just want to come hang up, hang out with Gavlan to make our uh, our mood feel better. I can't even talk anymore. That's how much that fucking thing got me. All right. Uh, we don't need any of these things, but thank you, though. Is there anything we want to sell? I can probably sell the Black Knight Halberd. I can sell the Gurm Great Shield. That'll go for a pretty penny. This? Uh, yeah, no, we have a Tower Shield that's better. I don't think we're going to go for that much dexterity, so we can sell that. Uh, is there anything here that we don't want? I don't really need a an Ironclad Helm or a Gurm Helm. We're already going pretty heavy on the armor, and uh, it might be a mistake. Anything else here that we can... Nah. And we're good. Many deal, many thanks. Thanks, bud. All right. On to the next one. I'm sorry to say we are rapidly uh, approaching the point in the game where we won't really have the options anymore. Uh, of just going somewhere else. Uh, uh, things become a little bit linear in here. Nope. Not gonna kill myself for a crystal lizard. Hey, bud. I would rather not fight you on a tiny little ledge, so we're gonna fight over here, yeah? How's that sound? Cool. Glad you're okay with it. Alright, and in here... It's a big shield. Yeah, it's just, just a rock. Oh, oh no. There we go. They just hang out behind a rock. 
You're in the land of doors. Well, not for much longer. As we've just left the land of doors. Goodbye, land of doors. And your stinky rat. We'll be back, don't worry. I'm grateful that the Royal Rat Authority has a bonfire just right outside the fog door. Like, that was considerate. Hey! It's the cove. We're in the cove. Hey, Christy. All right. How do I want to play this? Well, first of all... Let's deal with the archers. Whoop. <laughs> Dealt with them too well. Alright, I thought I saw another falconer shimmying towards us, but maybe not. One down. Oh. <laughs> these archers just cannot stay on top of these parapets. Or whatever you call them. Guard, guard towers? Scout towers? Towers. There we go. Believe it or not, I use words for a living. I know it's difficult to tell. Hi, bud. How you do Listen, you just wait there, okay? I'll be with you in a second. I mean, if you want to block... <laughs> oh, hit the tower. Just threading the needle with the other falconer right now? Oh, there we go. Good job. Proud of you. Yeah, alright. This is going great. Ha! Huh. Is there something in here? Did I remember that right? Nope. I'm gonna wait and see if that other Palfiner notices us. Listen, I'm sorry about this. You're just doing your job. But I want all of these things. That's so many souls. Lacerating arrow. Got you on the comeback. Well done, though. One more archer. You there. Kind of that arrow drop? Yeah, alright. Too far. Come on. Got Is there one more patrol over here? Oh, is there one in here? Maybe there's one in here. Yep, there is. Camera inside a tent. Not a great idea. <laughs> this game is usually better about checkpoints than the other four games? Yeah. Uh, what little I've played of um, Bloodborne in particular so far is mean with its checkpointing, honestly. Alright, well, good news is we have plenty of time. Maybe we will get the next Old Lord. That would be a nice end to the stream after that awkward middle. Roll these little stones. There we go, that'll help. I just realized. I was sitting there going, why am I why am I not doing as much damage? It's because I switched to the wrong type of projectile. Which still works, but much slower. Oh well, fine. Five games for Bloodborne. Fair. Ooh. 
We risked it, and it worked out okay. Ooh, flame butterfly. Good, we'll need those. Hi, bud. Airmail. Uh, I feel a bit bad about this. I think your AI might be bugged. Well, good news for us. This thing. Uh, can I pull you without your friends? Let's find out. Run back to terra firma. Perfect. How about go for two? Come on, bud. Oh. <laughs> I get jump scared by the ragdoll. Beautiful. I promise all of this is in service of something. Also, hey, look, a chapel. That's our boss arena. There we are. Bloodborne tries to design around the idea that there's a central hub lamppost for each area you keep opening shortcuts back to, but it just kind of makes the layouts feel labyrinthine. Yeah, that's that's been my experience. I'm only like five hours into that one, but yeah. It it uh, it's notable to me that, and y'all have seen just how ludicrously often I get lost in video games. I don't get turned around in, in Dark Souls 2, or even Dark Souls 1 very much. Um, in Bloodborne, I get turned around all the time. It doesn't help that, like, visually, the whole world looks very similar. Alright. Ultimately, I'm out here to chew rock candy and complete quests. And I have plenty of rock candy, but I still want to complete a quest. So, we're going to summon a friend. Assuming that I've remembered this correctly. I think the sign is in the tent over here. Let's go with yes. Uh, is it this one? No. Is it this one with the mannequin? Yeah. Maybe? Yes. Benhart! Okay, good. We have an aggro at the pigs. Hey, bud. Come, follow me. To glory! And let's see how far we get. I just pictured this game, like, technicolorized, and the mental image is terrible and awesome. I love that. And down this way. Anyway, no, okay. Ben, you with me? Thanks, bud. There is something back here, okay. Alright, uh, let's try this trick again, because it worked great last time. Grab the one on the end. Oh, there goes Ben. Have the sunny D to stop a hit. And we're making Dina and Tilo happy. Ah. Right. Um. So. The the content warnings for this game have included the word spiders since day one. Um, I'm happy to report they're not. There are not that many areas with spiders in them in Dark Souls 2, and that's very good. But, um. As this door would suggest. Spiders ahead. So, and they're... They're kind of similar to those, like, crab spiders that you see in, in little flowers sometimes. Just to, to give you an idea of, of type. Uh, and if we do get to the final boss of this area, it's just a really big spider. So, 
It's spiders all the way down for the next half hour here, and if you need to bow out, do not apologize. I totally understand. Believe me, I totally understand. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be spiders for a bit. Before we go down here, butterfly. I can fly twice as high. Let's just just don't even look up. Just don't even look up. Just keep running. I'll light the lamp. Not the rat. Uh, it's a trapped chest, and I'm not going to bother with it. Lamp. Door. Fog door. Fog door! Uh, Alright, I think if I remember right, you don't aggro. Good. Hey, you hear that weird chanting? That's strange, huh? Alright, listen, I don't I don't trust you up there. Sorry, buddy, this is probably unnecessary, but Thanks, bud. Yeah, see, what I don't know is that the wall spiders, sometimes they just don't aggro, which is nice. Uh, but I'm always worried that, like, they'll wait to aggro until I'm just underneath them. Ooh, priestess set. Nice. Excuse me, Ben. Pardon me, Ben. Let me get this thing. Effigy! Hell yeah. Okay. And... No lightning, that's my trick. Okay, fine. The blast is doing a lot more than the lightning right now. Have a drink. Yeah, Ben, if you would just get in there, I would really appreciate it, bud. Hmm. Crap. Let's get the little ones here. Being the little ones. You there. Stop attacking my friend. Alright. That's lightning taken care of. Nope, that's the wrong button. Back away! Ha-ha! Ben, we did it. Oh. Ooh, slab. All right. I'll take that. Thanks, Ben. Bye, Ben. All right, so that's one... One battle with Benhart, wherein Benhart survives. I don't think any of these are secret. Go. No. These are Return the Slab. Fuck, man, that episode just messed me up as a kid. I know that's not an uncommon reaction. Hey, Cromwell. Um, how you doing, bud? Just, uh, just hanging out. Hey, do you mind if I, um, cool, thanks. Just gonna, just gonna grab one of these and, and one of those. Hi. Hey. Something seems to be bothering you. Yeah, the big fucking spiders. Yes, I can tell. It is written upon your face. You have doubts about something you did. I loved it, which says things about me. I know, and I love that about you, is the thing. Anguish, disillusion, bewilderment. What wonderful gifts they are. Together, they are the essence of life. Don't you agree? 
But now, you are lost, bewildered by your own actions. You poor little thing. All right. Yes, yes, how tiny and frail are we? But if your heart is yet sincere, your sins will be forgiven. Now is the chance. Demonstrate your sincerity to me. Oh, right, we can get pardons. Cromwell the Pardoner. It's in the name. Uh, ooh, we do have... Ooh, hmm. So we can get some rings that help against status ailments, which is very good. Uh, we get some miracles. Uh, do we have... We have force already. I got that from... What's her name? Uh, I do want perseverance, which raises our resistance to status ailments. Um... I think I said earlier we're not doing hexes, but I do want to grab scraps because we can use it with the intelligence that we already have. So we don't have a dedicated build to it. I kind of want this hat, is the thing. I'm going to get the hat. Maybe not the rest, but I'm going to get the hat. Anyone can be forgiven as long as he is sincere. No matter how terrible this is, him, surely... We all deserve mercy. Yes. We must never forget our sins. Cromwell, you're a weird guy. Boop. Used to be freaked out by only the kind of spiders with big bulbous abdomen. And then somewhere along the way, I mostly stopped being freaked out by most spiders in general, unless they are in the process of being exactly where I very much do not want them. That's, uh... Uh, a broad description, but I understand the feeling. Uh, I realized at some point, remarkably early on in my life, that, uh, and I apologize in advance for uh, audible discussion of spiders for a little bit. I'll try to keep it brief. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful that at some point in my life I realized that while, like, the spindly long-legged spiders mess me up, especially when they have, like, front back asymmetry, like when their their legs are, are all forward, um, messes me up. But things like tarantulas don't. And the more alien the spider, the less apt I am to be nervous about it. The more realistic it is, the the more it's gonna fuck me up. Did I do this right? I did it right. Uh, so Peyton and Creighton are fighting, um, and we can make a decision here. I know which decision I'm going to go with. And it's to just straight up merc Creighton. Even though we've kind of determined that he's at least less confirmed to be a bad person. Oh, Pate, that's my back. <laughs> and there we go. We've completed Pate and Creighton's storyline. You have to choose one of... Well, you don't have to choose one of them. You can just let them fight each other. Um, but you get a choice here, and who you help is whose, like, armor set you get. What misunderstanding could have caused this? You smug prick. Well, thank you. I owe you my life. My little pied de terre lies beyond here. You'll find some of my treasures there. Help yourself to those that suit you. Mm-hmm. Here, use this key. Boop. Be cautious on your travels. Nah. That means a lot coming from you, bud. Uh, let's see. Get this up. Spider. Arachnus Deficus. Oh good, we can one-shot the spiders. That actually makes me feel safer. Oh, there's nothing in here. It's just a trap room. Uh, is this the room where I can... No, this is not the room where I can lower a thing. We'll need that later. Alright. Well, with 15 minutes, let's at least try to get to... Uh, one last bonfire. And then we'll call the stream there, probably. Like getting these extra torches. So the game tries to communicate uh, early on as you enter this area that um, 
crap, that uh, the the spiders are afeard of fire. So if you have a lit torch, much like the Darkstalkers in uh, uh, No Man's Wharf, they won't approach. Which is a vital piece of information. <laughs> Particularly if, like me, you don't like spiders. Alright, now watch as I try to remember how to get where we're going. I don't think it's in here. Wait for it. Okay, one more. Oh yeah, I also didn't mention these things. Um, which, on first glance, kind of look like hybridized Spiderman. Um, what they actually are, are, I don't know if they're actually dead corpses or just people, like, clinging to life. They're being puppeteered by the spiders on their back. It's a spider backpack that takes over your brain. So that's fun. This is the room I was thinking of. All right, good. This down. Brings this down. Why I remember all this? No idea. I think the shadows are messing with our frame rate just a little bit. It's fine. Go from up here. Yeah. Nope. Missed it. Can I just run that? Yeah, I can just run that. Nope. Cannot run that. What if we go up? Yay! That worked. The opposite of the Bloodstalkers from Ark, who wear you like a backpack and let you take over their brain. That's interesting. Southern Ritual Band. So the ring we just picked up allows us uh, to gain two free attunement slots. Uh, so for extra spells, which is quite nice. Oops, hang on. I would like you dead. Perfect. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, Alright, and there's another one. Let's just take you out, at least. Whoop. Did you... Oh, I see. I missed one. Interesting. What is that interaction? There we go. So that extremely slow projectile is homing soul mass, I think it's called. A uh, miserable spell. Yeah, there we go. Really don't want to go off the edge. Luckily, it's very slow. Never mind. Ragdolls keep jump scaring me. All right. Uh, I think from there I can go around here. Yes. Yes. All right. Back where we started. From there to here. Gently. From there to here. We'll go get that in a second. Oh, yeah, speaking of. Uh, da -da -da -da. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Fuck you, Guthrie. Alright. Alright, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Deal with you in a second. You could let me open a door. Come on, bud. I'm not fighting you out there where the basilisk is.
I, uh, I mess up your AI? Listen, artifacts, I'm really sorry about all that. Um, I like your doll collection. I like how they all have empty chests. This is fine. You know what? It's important to have a hobby, and I, uh, I respect that. Well, we meet again, kind traveler. This is my workshop. Hmm. <laughs> I can see that. I believe I would be called a blacksmith. I create all manner of equipment. Using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally, I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain that they will please you. I require no payment this time, but you must bring me a wondrous soul. My technique absolutely requires it. I trust you will understand. <laughs> Once the doll's chest has been hollowed out, it gets a seat on the shelf. Also, apparently, loses leg privileges. Yeah, that does seem to be the life cycle from what we can see here. Uh, okay. Well... That's quite nice of you. Could grab a big curved sword. Don't need sorceries, thanks though. Uh, you sell flame butterflies, which I'm glad for. Do I want a Murakumo? I can use it. I have a decent quality build. Sure. Nope, we don't need two of them. <laughs> Come back again if you find another soul. You got it. All right. So uh, the first soul's free. Which is a heck of a thing, but it is. Oh, right, we can't open that from this side. Crap. Uh, is the Basilisk still here? Sure is. And now it's down the hole. Hey, look at our souls count! Nikki666 has leveled up. We have an extra six. Would y'all please stop jumping around? It makes me nervous. Ooh, one light attack kills you, hey? Listen, if you're just going to stay away, then I am happy to leave you to it. Uh, now, how do we get out of here? Can't go up there from here. Oh, I know how to go. I really hate this sinkhole. It just makes me super nervous every time. Uh, okay, so over here. Oh, there's a friend! Light this room up. Ray! It's Ray, everyone! Okay. Perfect. Now then, what's in here? Crescent Axe. All right. Hi, Ray. Up oh, this way. All right, that brings us out here. Oh, I got six minutes. Yeah, let's give it a shot, right? That'll do. Nice job, Ray. Oh, right, this thing. Uh, if we do like... We have to let the sand out of there for... some reason. I've already forgotten. I just remember I want to do that. <laughs> Which <laughs> describes my interactions with a lot of stuff in this game. Why am I doing that? I don't know, but I remember I do want to. Right, well, we didn't get the last bonfire, but we have Ray... We can at least get to the boss fight. Maybe it'll still be a three-boss stream. Let's see, that one's a thing. 
excuse me, I need to make use of this. Okay. Right, I'm gonna need you to hold down the port for a moment. Thanks, bud. Back it up, it's gonna be a weird interaction. Nice. Here we go. Torch. Come along, Ray. We have monsters to fight. Now it's a Castlevania. Anything in here? Anything in here? No. We press on. Whoop. You can't run on the sticky, which, you know, makes sense. This way. Can't jump on the sticky either, huh? Uh, let's see. Have I already forgotten which way to go from here? I guess I could try just falling onto that. Let's try just falling off of that. Woo! It's almost a big mistake. Ray, what are you fi- Oh! Oh, right! There are random humans down here. We still have a uh, couple of uses of Estus Flask. You know what? Let's see how far we get. We have a torch. We have a ray. And now we have a big Spidro Gigante. I don't like that in the cinematic I'm not holding a torch anymore. <laughs> so this is Freya. Hopefully we still have our torch. We'll find out in a moment. Here they come. Yes, we do. Good. So the good news is, because we have the torch... Can largely ignore the little ones. Freya has a whoop stone carapace. So we can only attack her face and her butt face. Which will make sense if we run out of the first face. Hey, there we go. There's the butt face. 50% more face in your face. I also appreciate... Crap. I also appreciate that the uh, the music here is like straight-up horror movie music. Okay. Some Ray gets raised after this. A bit of a tantrum, it's fine. Move away from the mandibles. Crap. Should have seen that coming. Let's have another one of these. Whew. And we're okay. Laser time. Like all spiders, Freya has a laser. Or Fraser, if you will. Okay, we're okay. Calculated risk, worth it. All 
Uh, okay. We broke the butt face. <laughs> Luckily, there's a backup face. Three boss stream. And only a minute over. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate you, bud. We did it. Thank you, Bad Road. <laughs> Instead of cat dog, we have spider spider. <laughs> I just noticed that uh, the Lord here, who's hanging out in the library behind where Freya is, and has clearly gone deeply hollow, um, is wearing the same hat as uh, Malin, who's the uh, the merchant back in Majula. Which uh, makes me think that he's from Saldora. Wonder if he can come home now. Hey, three great old ones done in ten episodes. Whoop! No, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, Emerald Harold, I just had the weirdest dream. <laughs> that jump scared me right at the end. So that's where we're gonna call it for tonight. Uh, but yeah, so that's um, Lost Sinner, Old Iron King, Duke's Dear Freya, done. We have one one great lord left, and then the real game begins. Uh, good news, that's the end of the spiders. Certainly for a while, maybe totally. I don't remember if there's any other areas that have like a random spider in them, but there's certainly no more spider zones. So we're done with Saldora, which is nice. I'm probably going to go back between streams like I've been doing and just like... Uh, uh, strip mine the place for items, uh, which I'll put up a stream and uh, maybe I'll go back and kill the Royal Red Authority or at least try it again. I'll, I'll record it just in case. Uh, but uh, whew, that one was uh, was not was not great. But anyway, that's where we're calling it for tonight's episode. Thank you all so much for for tuning in. And uh, we got three. We could have gotten four if I hadn't gotten jammed up, and that's gonna annoy me for the next four days. But it's fine. Uh, if I heard correctly. It sounds like our friends over at the Squirrel Lily uh, uh, streaming, uh, twitch.tv slash Squirrel Lily are having some serious network issues, so streams over there may be on hold for a little while. Um, all of our stream team will, will do auto-hosting, so uh, look for those notifications, but it sounds like tonight it's going to be a no-go. Um, so send some love their way, because honestly, that's really frustrating to deal with, and if you've ever had network uh, issues outside of your control, which most of us in chat have... Um, then you know how frustrating it can be and how just uh, defeated it gets. So good luck to y'all. Definitely keep us posted and uh, we'll update things here. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and link to our whole stream team over at schedule.truck.community has the, the list of what's being streamed uh, where, when, and by whom uh, to give you an idea of what's coming up. As for us, we're back here on Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time with more Dark Souls 2. And uh, we'll see how far we get with the next thing. See y'all then. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. And if you have any leftover, take care of somebody else too. Good night, y'all.